Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm going to attempt the impossible. I'm going to try to go from yesterday's bun to having my hair down today. I know, I know you're thinking that I am insane. It's never been done, but I'm going to try. Now, if you're watching and you have straight hair, you might be like, um, what's, what's the big deal? Like I have my hair up on a ponytail, then I kind of like rub my fingers through it, wear it down for half the day, put it back up on a messy bun, and then take it back down like it's no big deal. Well, with curls, uh, it's not that easy. Once we have our hair in a ponytail or a bun, we must commit to that ponytail or bun for the rest of the day. There's no turning back. If I just decided midday that I didn't want to have my hair up on a bun anymore, I'd be walking around like, Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Oh no, no, I'm fine. Yeah, why do you ask? Not okay. So let's go ahead and assess this bun. The problem is I already went in with this bun knowing I was gonna wash it today. So I did not prepare my hair the way I should have to make this really revivable today, but I'm still gonna try. At this point, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to call this a how-to video. This is feeling pretty impossible ouch and might not work out when i did this bun yesterday like i said i had no intention of refreshing today so i went ahead and grabbed my got to be ultra glued styling gel this gel right here is insane i don't even know what's in this gel it probably has like cement super glue huh. the ingredients actually check out that's surprising but I really only bought this to use when I wear my wigs and I need something that's going to glue the wig to my head. That's when I'll use this. And when you use it for like a bun or a ponytail, your hair will be slicked back, no flyaways. It is not moving. I had my hair in a bun for 12 hours yesterday, went to bed, took a shower, and my hair is still pretty slicked down. The better option for me to have used if I knew I was going to refresh my hair will be something like the Curls Blueberry Bliss Edge Control. I do use this on my edges and then I use the glue on the rest of my hair and the back of my head, but this does have a good hold but not a crazy hold like the Got To Be Gel. So my curls actually don't look that bad, it's just these straight pieces for me slicking back my hair. And this back part right here is crunchy, like look at that. It does not want to be revived. So the first step in reviving any curls, you're going to need some water, some good old H2O, and I'm going to use my Curl Keeper water bottle. This is called the best water bottle for fabulous curls. It's literally called that. Like they were very confident when they chose the name of this bottle. But I'm going to really spray all the ugly straight pieces. And then I'm going to do this little motion right here and try to soften up that gel and maybe bring some curl back if we're lucky. So I'm gonna try to scrunch away that cast. Luckily, you will not see the back part of our head, so no one has to know. Okay, now we're gonna go back to my good old movement that I always do with my hair. Just kinda smooth through it. See? We're getting some curl back. Getting back to life. Back to life, back to reality. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. My hair is starting to feel like hair again. Now we need a styling product to help revive the curls and get rid of some frizz. So I'm gonna use my Cantu Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream, hoping that this will reactivate my curls from the dead. So you don't need too much. Our hair probably has enough product in it, depending on what day you're on. Whoop, I'm gonna use about that much. Smooth it through my hands. And then we're going to flatten them over all the curls. Ooh, this stuff smells good. dry for as long as possible and then I'll come back to diffuse and I'm back and my hair is completely dry now and look at the curls 
they are back in action but they are very crunchy i forgot that the curl activator cream does have a little bit of a hold to it but I prefer that because when I diffuse, it'll be perfect. So since my roots are already dry, I just kind of want to diffuse to get rid of some of this crunch and make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to use my Diva Dryer with the Curly Co attachment. This is another diffuser that I've been using and it kind of just collapses, really good for travel. And I like to use this diffuser when I'm kind of in a hurry, it gets a lot of my hair at one time and we'll get rid of that crunch. Let's do this. gonna happen I used a very very permanent type of gel but I was still able to revive these curls so if I could do it with that gel you guys could do it with any type of edge control you're using well I don't know about you but I feel pretty darn accomplished you know for doing the impossible hope I gave you some hope that you can revive your hair even after the tightest or slickest bun or ponytail and if you enjoyed this video I hope you give me a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe I post two new videos every week once on Friday and once on Sunday. And if you want to become curl friends, you should definitely follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. <laughs>